All right, this is one of the books that is totally the reason why I'm doing these reviews and especially is the reason why I'm doing the ones from my MBA program. This one is Negotiation Genius by Deepak Malhotra and Max Bazerman. I read it in 2011 and I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads and wrote this about it at the end of that year. I read this for the negotiation section of a leadership effectiveness and development course in my MBA program, and I totally needed it. The readings really provide inspiration for negotiation and get you excited to try out the techniques, which is good because the negotiation learning process itself can be really humiliating and humbling for a novice like me. The book built my ego back up to return after I felt the terrible dissatisfaction of compromises and settlements worked for in class. It seems trite to explain it as a toolbox, but I will be keeping this book nearby anytime I have a situation where my interest needs superior advocacy. On a metaphoric side note, it took me a short but frustrating time to warm to the game of poker. I had difficulty understanding how eviscerating your opponent's wallets through bluffs, lies, and manipulation could be fun and acceptable. After about three or four actual real money games, I realized that if you're not playing to win, you're not really playing. Negotiation is like that to me now. If you're not going to do these ethically flexible techniques, then you shouldn't even try to negotiate. You will lose. I know it will take me far more than a handful of negotiations to learn that fully, but after this book and that class, I am excited to try. This book was fantastic and I recommend it to everyone. I do still have it with me at all times. Um, the crux of the book is really about the type of preparation necessary to prepare you for a negotiation in an emotional capacity. So it has a bunch of different acronyms and different uh, sort of concepts to bring into play to make sure that you are ready to go into a negotiation to be prepared for whatever happens in it. Talks about the concepts of anchoring, how to anchor in the right way and negotiate back to a place that's in the in the middle for you and the other party. Um, and also uh, it, the one of the great acronyms is called the ZOPA, the Zone of Proposed Agreement, which um, I think is the way to do any negotiation. If you really, uh, if you really want to know where you're comfortable before you get into a negotiation, before all of the emotional things happen to you, um, create a zone of proposed agreement for you. And because if anything lands in that zone, then just take it and leave and be done with it. The course was taught, it was four weeks. It could have been much more. Could have been the entire 16 weeks for this particular course. But it was taught by a former uh, mediator, former judge named Sam Imperati. I thought he was fantastic. One of the things that I remember most about his course is um, when talking about language, and I've explained this to many people many times, but using the word but um, is a, a very interesting thing to put in language. And he said that anytime someone says but and then follows it with something, anything that came before the but, they either didn't mean or doesn't matter at all. The only thing that matters in a sentence is what comes after the but. And to emphasize that point, anytime anyone said the word but when they were answering a question or talking in negotiation, he would turn around and bend over. <laughs> so it was actually a really interesting course um, and really sort of prepped me for the world of negotiation. Um, I don't even think now, you know, all these years later that I am an expert or a negotiation genius, but this book is so great in trying to make you feel more comfortable with negotiation. Um, in the, uh, the side note, the thing about poker, back in 2011, I hadn't played a lot of it. Um, there were just a couple live games that I had played in, but now, especially with the pandemic, uh, a bunch of my friends and I from all over the, the country, all over the world, really, uh, get together weekly for a weekly poker game using like um, one of the poker sites to just have a, a game where we can all play and stuff. It was so fantastic to have during the pandemic to get everyone together and to get just sort of connected with people again. And it's just this kind of loose collection of, of folks that come together to play now. I am to the point now where I feel comfortable with bluffing and the different things that are necessary to make poker work. Um, but I still like to, I still like to know the sort of goings on in the game. So I 
tend to, after a hand, I would love to tell everybody what I had so that I can figure out, you know, how the game would have played out if we played things differently. I enjoy the game that way. Um, and these people are all close friends of mine. So it's okay for us to, um, to sometimes reveal and sometimes not reveal. But yeah, I love poker now. Um, I'm not awesome at it, but I have a lot of fun with it. And I think I feel the same way about negotiation now too. Uh, to the point where similar to like poker, I'm willing to try the techniques. Um, it, the word that I use in the review is calling it ethically flexible. And I think it's because if you get hung up on some sort of policy of truth uh, before you approach a negotiation, that you might find these things unethical. But really the point is trying to eliminate your emotions from any negotiation so that you are really focusing in on what you're trying to achieve. Uh, Sam Imperati, the one who taught the course, said that any negotiation that feels like either side has won um, is not a good negotiation. That always the best negotiations, both sides feel like they lost a little bit because compromise is the only way to really come through a fair negotiation. And I kind of try to take that with me too, that nobody likes to do it, but everybody has to do it because so many things in life are a negotiation. I definitely re recommend this book. This was, again, one of the reasons why uh, I want to do these reviews and put these out on YouTube and for everyone to see is to learn about books just like this. It's called Negotiation Genius. I have a copy and I will lend it to anyone who wants to read about these things. Um, it's by Deepak Malhotra and Max Bazerman. I give it four out of five stars on Goodreads. Till next.